we go from this to this. In DaVinci Resolve using keyframes, adjustment clips and three time controls. First we add the clip to the timeline on the edit page. I always change the video view options to plain, otherwise my timeline is very slow due to old hardware. I also make the track height a bit bigger, otherwise you cannot fade in and fade out directly on the timeline. Using the left right arrow keys to find the start of the video and trim the clip. Delete with backspace Using read time controls for change the speed of the clip and freeze the first frame Right mouse click on the clip Clicking on the small arrow down symbol on the timeline gives you access to the read time control functions Press once right arrow key to move one frame for freezing the first frame. Freezing the first frame for showing a title while pausing the clip. Change text Playhead is not on the right place for showing the text Adjust the text you can do this by left click on the number and move the mouse right or left. Add a weight in to the text clip. Also add a weight in to the clip, putting read time control off, otherwise it is not possible to add a weight in to the clip directly on the timeline. Checking the result, you can use spacebar to play or stop the playhead. Make it a bit shorter. Align freeze frame with the text clip. Searching for the right frame to start zooming. While zooming, I want to pause the clip. This by adding a freeze frame. For zooming, I will use the powerful adjustment clip in combination with transform keyframes. With an adjustment clip, you can change a part of the underlying clips. The advantage is that the original clip will stay original 
and you don't have to split the original clip. Adding the first keyframe to the adjustment clip. Putting the second keyframe one second later using the right arrow key. Start dynamically zooming by holding the mouse pointer on the desired number while holding the left click and move right or left. Show keyframes by clicking on the small black and white square in the adjustment clip. I use it for aligning the freeze frame with stop zooming. Looking at the result, zooming again in the same way by adding two keyframes and change the zoom and position of the second keyframe between the keyframes one second space again while zooming pausing the clip again by using a freeze frame aligned with the zooming A look at the result. Zooming out to the full size by adding two more keyframes in combination with the freeze frame. One second in between again. Aligning the freeze frame with the zoom keyframe. Trimming the end of the clip. Adding a freeze frame at the last frame to get room for a fade out. Put Retime Control off for putting a weight out on the clip, directly on the timeline. Checking the result. And finally finished. If you like my videos, feel free to subscribe. And if you have any suggestions, please comment.